NASA warns of the giant 1,000-foot Apophis asteroid that could smash into Earth and destroy a large city. Apophis is to be coming at us April 13th, Friday, the 13th of April, 2029. These are the very similar dates that the asteroid exercise, preparedness exercise used that ended last week. That was supposed to be April 2027. And by the way, they all failed that one as well. So it seems that the Earth is not prepared to protect humanity from an asteroid strike. Now, this is um, by Freddie Jordan on Express UK. He's reporting on the NASA findings. The huge, massive, gargantuan asteroid that could wipe out many cities may smash into Earth in the future and will certainly skim dangerously close by in 10 years. This is according to NASA. That's the first time it comes by. But that's not the only asteroid that's coming at us. Seven years later, we have Bennu coming at us. Now, the asteroid Apophis, which is the first to come, measures at 1,000 feet wide, and it'll swing by at a distance of about 19,000 miles, and it'll be closer than the moon is to us. And it'll happen in the next few years. And from what the scientists are telling us, Two billion people will be able to see it as it passes by, with their naked eyes, without binoculars, that is. And at an unspecified time beyond that, this celestial rock, this uh, near-Earth object, keeps orbiting the Sun. There is the continued possibility it could collide with Earth and, of course, wreak havoc and destruction on millions of people. Now, RT America, Michelle Greenstein explained, you can see her embedded in the video here in this article, that in the next decade, it will be coming at 19,000 miles from us, from the surface of our Earth. And as you can see from the image, it will be at the area of our satellites. That's how close it will be to us. She says scientists at NASA say if the asteroid is about 300 feet wide, it could wipe out an entire city here on Earth. This one is three times that. It's a thousand feet wide. Now, 19,000 miles sounds like a long way, but NASA scientist says that's actually very rare for an object this large to be coming so close to us. It's huge, and it's going to be very close. They're going to observe it with optical and radar telescopes, and they're going to be able to see surface details that we had not been able to see before. We'll be able to see it too. Two billion people on Earth will be able to see it with their naked eyes without the help of binoculars or anything uh, of a focal lens. It will keep orbiting the Sun and its future trajectory shows that there is a small chance that it may hit Earth, God forbid. Initial observations of the asteroid show that there was a 2% chance of it hitting Earth. Now, the Apophis caused concern when it was discovered very recently, only in 2004, because initial observations indicated that a probability of up to 2.7% that it would hit Earth on April 13, 2029. More observations provided imp improved predictions that caused the elimination of the possibility of an impact on Earth or an impact on the moon in when it comes by close to us in 2029. It does not discount the small possibility, though, that this asteroid could end up colliding with Earth decades later, although the probability is increasingly small. Apophis, by the way, is a Greek name, and uh, it means the uh, Egyptian, uh, the name of, uh, the Greek name of Apep, the enemy of the ancient Egyptian sun god, Ra. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. 
These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, and Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.